third place for Sayadov. Sayadov, though, very dangerous, very big thrower. So it will be interesting. Have a look how they chop and change with the gripping. What they're trying to do here is to get the comfortable grip or the grip that they can actually throw off. Sometimes underneath, sometimes over, depending on what they're comfortable with. Left-handed fighter, Sayadov. Which matter straight away. Oh, he gets taken over! And that was a Wazari counter-attack there from Rodriguez. Sayadov didn't quite have the angle right, and he gets taken over and rolled onto his back by Rodriguez. Rodriguez picks up a Wazari there. And remember that a Wazari is almost an Ippar, not quite. It just rolls them onto the shoulder blades. But it's a massive score to get back. And the opening seconds, you can see that, 20 seconds in. And now Sayadov has got it all to do. He's got a mountain to climb. Both attacking, both going for it. That means that we're going to see fireworks. It means that we're going to see good technique. time they break in the action they have to come back to the middle and grip up again that might be a score that's going to be a Yuko Yuko scored there oh but he's fallen into the hold down and now what's going to happen he's turned out Sayadov was in the hold down there. He got a Yuko. Was holding. And then Rodriguez, who looks very, very awkward, very difficult to throw and hold down, and managed to turn out. So he's still ahead here, but it's a, a Wazari against a Yuko. And as I said before, don't look at the... Uh, 10 there, look at them as individual units, and this fight has really taken off. Well, in between all that, you've got to try and settle yourself down a little bit. Get the oxygen in there. Keeps going on to the belt side of. That means he's got to attack immediately. He can't just hold the belt for too long. He's got to go in immediately. Oh, it's that massive. Brilliant. Uranagi went all the way around the back there of Rodriguez and took him backwards. Rodriguez, like a cat, lands on his hands and knees. Brilliant stuff. Well, if they mess up the gripping strategy too much, they get a, a penalty for it. So it's in their interest just to go in and get an immediate hold. But uh, easier said than done, especially with this man here coming onto the belt there. Very, very quick, Sayadov. Made a mistake, actually, with that was Ari, but uh, that's what the judo's all about, of course. Capitalising on mistakes. Action, reaction as well. And you can see, just by his attitude there, a little bit down, there's his brother. Says his brother is his absolute hero, who he looks up to. Just two minutes gone. Hey. 
Well, any time that they go near to the edge of the area, Joe Guy is called. And they have to be aware if they keep just walk out, they could get penalised. If they've been warned, that is. Terrific match. This for third place. Maybe a second penalty here. And the second penalty, I think, is for not attacking or not attacking within the right amount of time now he goes to work he said was Harry up he doesn't want another penalty on there otherwise it'll mean plenty of time there in order to get the uh, disqualification but that was a nice series of attacks there from Rodriguez reaction he wants Sayadov to go where he wants him to go that's going to be another Yuko second one Sayadov isn't finished still two minutes of this contest to go and Rodriguez starting to blow just a little bit well he'll need to score a Wazari, I think, Sayadov, and it's capable of doing it. He's a big thrower. Now he has the belt. Almost gets caught by Rodriguez. Good counter-attack from Rodriguez. One minute 39 left on the clock. Very important job there, getting them to grip up in the way that he wants them gripped up. Well, the crowd really starting to get into this match. They appreciate it, they appreciate good judo. as soon as you start as soon as he says edge mate that is an opportunity it's almost like stop start gives you time just to reflect on what you're going to do next tries this Sumigeshi again but Rodriguez had it well and truly taped and the one minute buzzer goes Well, what has he got to do? Throw him for a Wazari, that's what he has to do. Easier said than done. Oh, 
Oh, it's a Chimata! And that's it. That's the Wazari. And he was always looking dangerous. He was the one that was going for it. It was a beautiful technique. Uchimata up the middle there. He had about three stabs at it, but over he went. Rolled him onto his back, so he gets the Wazari side off. And I said that he needed a Wazari. That was it. Those two Yukos that he's got as well, very important. Don't look at it as 12, look at it as two Yukos and one Wazari. Now is he going to go again? He might just, he might just go for the Ippon, and he has! Wazari was at the Ippon, and that was an amazing comeback from Feruz Sayadov of Uzbekistan. It really was tremendous, and he went for it, even though he was a Wazari up. Well, in fact, he was two Yukos up, there was a Wazari each, but uh, he went for the other Wazari. Two Wazaris, Wazeti upon, and look at his brother there, how emotional is his brother. That is wonderful to see, it really is. Talk about variation of technique. We saw almost everything there. Sacrifice techniques, forward techniques, backward techniques. And look at that to finish off. Great sports. The respect that they have for each other, tremendous. Farouz Sayadov. Winner by Yipon. Well, it doesn't come any better than that. These two brothers, I can tell you, are very, very close. Look at the emotion. The emotion between the two brothers